right, the first thing we're gonna learn to start off all of your sections to the cloak is called a slip knot. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your end, going to make a loop, fold the end over like that. We're gonna pinch where it crosses Then we're going to fold it over onto the rest of the yarn. Like that. Take your finger or your hook. Go underneath that yarn that we just folded over. And then you're going to take your tail and you're going to pull. Just like that. And that's your slip knot. If you want to make it with less tail, that's actually about a decent amount of tail. Um, but if you want less tail, you can just take it apart by pulling on the two ends. And it pulls it apart. Alright, once you have your slip knot, what we're going to do is. Um, I'm going to show you how to actually hold the yarn. Um, it doesn't really matter how you hold it, but I find this way to be the most comfortable. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your hand and put it behind the yarn. Take your pinky and wrap it around the yarn. Show you again. Behind. Wrap around. You're going to take your index finger of your left hand, obviously. Um, if you're left-handed, then it would be your right hand. Um, you're going to take your index finger, fold it over, and wrap it around that way. And then as um, you crochet, you're going to be pulling with your hand, and it'll just run through your fingers. Um, I've seen people just hold it like this, you know, just hold it with their fingers. Um, just, you know, hold it with, you know, pinch it or whatever, but I like to do it this way. So, fluid motion around the pinky, around the index. And then you just pinch right here as you're going through. Alright, now that we know the how to hold our yarn, we're going to learn the uh, um, chain stitch. And this is how you're going to begin all of your sections. So make it a little loose on your hook by pulling just a bit on the yarn. You're going to hold the knot that we made, you know, or hold the tail. You're going to grab the yarn. which is what our hook is for. That's why it, you know, it's hook shaped. And you're going to pull it through the loop. One more time. Around the yarn and through the loop. And I twist my hook as I do that just cuz the pointed end um goes through the loop better. So you're going to grab the yarn My loop was too tight to pull it through. So grab the yarn and pull it through. 